past 12 months signals a turbulent road ahead for Iran's regime. Major changes loom on the 43rd anniversary of Iran's 1979 anti-monarchical revolution that brought an end to the Shah's dictatorship but was later hijacked by the clerics led by Ruhollah Khamenei. While the mullah's regime is hell-bent on portraying a strong image with a firm grip on power, the realities on the ground tell a completely different story. A look back at the past 12 months sheds light on the deepening conflict between Iranian people and their organized resistance seeking freedom on the one hand, and a weakening regime desperately trying to stay in power on the other. Mass Boycott of Presidential Elections Iran's sham presidential election turned out to be yet another farce and a strategic defeat for the Mullah's regime that sought to portray the vote as a popular mandate. According to information obtained by the Iranian opposition, People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran, P-M-O-I-M-E-K, less than 10% of eligible voters cast their ballots. This was the lowest voter turnout in any election since the 1979 revolution, a fact to which even the regime's own officials have admitted. A cabinet geared for repression and terror. Following the historic boycott of the regime's sham presidential election, Ebrahim Raisi's cabinet lineup, consisting of security and military veterans who have been involved in decades of financial corruption, repression, and terrorism, signals a regime gearing up to face a restive population with an iron fist. Hussein Amir Abdullahian. Raji's foreign minister has made no secret of his ties with the regime's terror apparatus and intention to pursue a terror-focused foreign policy. He vowed to the regime's MPs to support the resistance front, an umbrella term the regime uses to refer to its proxy terrorist groups in the Middle East. Amir Abdullahian also pledged to continue the path of Qasem Soleimani the eliminated commander of the Revolutionary Guards, Quds Force, and the mastermind of the regime's terror operations. جمهوری اسلامی ایران در مذاکرات خودش نداشت شاید هیچ گاه دیپلمات های ما در دنیا مورد توجه قرار نمی گرفتن Desperation among the regime's loyal base Despite their efforts over the past four decades, the mullahs are acknowledging escalating public anger and dissent over their rule. Millions of people see their non-existent freedoms contrasting with the unearned privileges that the mullahs and their children enjoy. They can easily connect the dots and see the role of the so-called clergy in destroying the country's economy and culture. Ongoing protest across Iran The Iranian people have also been voicing their hatred toward the mullahs regime through expanding protests by all sectors of the society. Amid these developments, the PMOI-MEK network inside Iran, known as the resistance units, are both expanding and delivering strategic blows to the mullah's apparatus. On January 5th, resistance units torched the statue of Qasem Soleimani, the eliminated commander of the terrorist Quds force, unveiled on that very same day in the city of Shah Kord in central Iran. On January 27, the regime's state TV radio network suffered severe disruptions across the board, airing footage of Iranian opposition leaders. This continues to raise grave concerns among regime officials to regarding the PMOI, MEK's influence inside Iran, especially through their resistance units network. This becomes all the more important as protests evolve into more organized movements 
bearing the potential of being guided to specifically target the regime and seek fundamental political objectives and regime change. As the regime is using the revolutionary anniversary to claim public mandate and support, the increasing number of executions paint a different picture. Terrified of protests and uprisings, the clerical regime has accelerated executions to instill an atmosphere of terror. The regime is also emboldened by the appeasement policy of the West, which includes seemingly ceaseless concessions for Tehran to entice it to return to the highly flawed 2015 nuclear deal. Despite the regime's crackdown and ongoing appeasement from the West, the past 12 months have made crystal clear for the regime the threats to their core from the Iranian people.